Decred version 1.8 has arrived and with it is a new consensus vote to change the rules of the Decred network. Stakeholders approved a proposal back in March to change the proof of work algorithm to Blake 3, which will make all existing Decred ASIC miners useless. This means Decred will no longer be mined by ASICs and will now be mined by GPUs. However, before you go about ordering a bunch of graphics cards, be aware that the proof of work mining reward is being reduced from 10% to just 1% of the block reward. The proof of stake reward is being increased to 89%, up from 80%. Let's quickly go over Decred voting. Voting occurs in three stages. First is the upgrade stage. A new software release includes the new consensus rules, which are dormant until approved by Decred stakeholders. So it's important network participants upgrade by downloading and installing the new software. In this case, Decred version 1.8. Voting.decred.org is a useful website to check this progress. For this stage to complete, 75% of tickets being chosen to vote in a given window must include the new software version, and 95% of proof of work miners must be on the new software version. Once the upgrade is complete, voting will begin. This is the voting stage. Over the course of one month, all tickets that are chosen to vote will include vote bits that indicate whether they vote yes, no, or abstain. For a vote to pass, there must be 75% approval from tickets chosen to vote. If the vote fails, the new consensus rules simply remain dormant and nothing happens to the chain. In this case, the vote passed with over 99% yes votes on both issues, which leads us to the third stage of this upgrade process. Finally, we have the lock-in phase. If the vote passes, there is a lock-in period of about one month that is meant to give participants on the network who have not yet upgraded time to update their software, so they will not be forked off the network. Once the lock-in period is complete, the chain will hard fork with the new consensus rules activated. In this case, as stated earlier, the consensus rules being changed for this vote are switching the proof-of-work algorithm to Blake 3 and changing the block reward subsidy. Decred will now use the ACERT algorithm for its mining difficulty calculation. ACERT will adjust the mining difficulty with each new block instead of every 144 blocks. This means the network can more easily adjust to large swings in the hash power. A common question asked is why is Decred switching away from ASIC miners? The short answer is research was done and it was revealed ASIC mining was heavily centralized and that these ASIC miners were not aligned with the project and were actively attacking Decred's price discovery, encouraging negative growth for the project. Furthermore, the bulk of Decred's security comes from proof of stake and not proof of work. So basically, miners were being overpaid. Also, increasing the staking reward will make Decred more attractive to outside investors. Those looking to learn more should visit proposals.decred.org and check out the proposal in question. Now, let's look at other development updates. For Decred's wallet to Crediton, ledger support is underway. Improvements were made to Decred's privacy service, Stake Shuffle, including preventing duplicate inputs earlier in the mixing process, improved logging of mixing sessions to always capture session ID, run number, and denomination value of mixed outputs. Coin join transactions are now prevented from exceeding mempool size limits. The Decred DEX is a non custodial, privacy respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. There have been a number of changes added Digibyte trading support with full node wallets added Block Explorer links to Zcash transactions, backported a number of fixes and improvements, added expected refund time to the matches card, previously it would show a confusing pending status, optimized request handling, utilize external fee rate sources in SPV mode. Before this change, it was possible to pay unreasonably high fees when sending from an SPV wallet. Remove the requirement to enter a password when canceling an order. For Ethereum, made token approvals for coins such as USDC a separate manual step instead of an automatic part of the first swap. This is so users are aware of what is happening and they are not surprised by the high fee of the first swap. Furthermore, the DEX added full node wallet support for Firo, a privacy coin formerly known as Zcoin. Up next is support for Firo light wallets based on Electrum. There's a new executable called DEXC that wraps the DEX web app in a web view component to look like a desktop app. This app will keep running in the background if there are active orders. Polygon is in the process of being added to the DEX with a test hardness implemented. There are also improvements made so the DEX shuts down more cleanly. Bison Relay is a peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol running on Decred's Lightning Network that is censorship resistant and heavily focuses on user privacy and sovereignty. Developers implemented an initial version of the Pages feature. Pages allow the browsing of static content from a remote user. As of right now, only markdown pages are supported. 
Pages can link to other users' pages using links. Developers also added a handshake feature that allows users to test that their encryption ratchets are still working. Remember that Bison Relay privacy is based on a unique combination of double ratchet and post-quantum secure public key infrastructure. For the graphics user interface of Bison Relay, a floating button was added so users can jump to recent messages, made changes to the size of embedded images shown in chats and posts. This should help with the scaling. Fix some issues with text selection, fix scroll bar issues on Lightning Network management views, added a search and filter function to the address book page, and finally, the initial foundations for stores has been implemented. Storefronts, of course, can present product items for sale. Bison Relay clients running the store can serve product pages, maintain shopping carts, handle order placements, and create invoices. Prices will be shown in US dollar, but paid in Decred. The exchange rate is fetched from DCR data. They also implemented simple forms. Forms can be viewed, filled, and submitted by store customers to add items to the shopping cart or to place an order. They also added shipping details to orders. Allow store admin and customer to add comments to the order and show them on both admin and customer order pages. Now remember, Bison Relay does not have user accounts. By eliminating accounts and minimizing metadata, Bison Relay removes the means by which censorship is typically implemented. Message content, the sender, and the receiver are all opaque to the server, which only sees encrypted data. This basically means Bison Relay will have uncensorable stores that are completely private and encrypted. Of course, Bison Relay has no rent seeking of its own and can actually control what users are doing. On Politea, Decred's proposal platform for the Decred DAO, UTXO Studios had a proposal approved to create 12 90 second promotional videos in 12 different languages to help market Decred internationally for a total cost of $23,650. The videos will focus on Decred and Bison Relay's commitment to privacy, decentralization, and free speech. Why would you invest in a government captured surveillance coin? What's the point of being in crypto with unsecure cryptography? Whatever happened to integrity? Only one coin in the entire crypto space embodies the original ethos. Only one continues to code immutable tech to empower you. Only one building the tools to save us from censorship, surveillance, and fiat. Only one has 21 million hard cap, post-quantum, secure mixing and privacy. Sovereign internet running on lightning network with encrypted chat, social media, and storefronts with zero advertising and zero censorship. Long term, the team of UTX Studios hope to build trust with the stakeholders and greater Decred community and hope to continue making promotional material for Decred. Cypherpunk Times, which is the new name for the Decred Magazine website, had an approved proposal to continue acting as a content hub for the Decred project, while also expanding into a multi-chain publication with contributors from other projects. The goal here is that by working and connecting with other serious cryptocurrency communities, we can extend the reach of all the various projects and have the magazine be a celebration of things like true decentralization, privacy, and blockchain progression. The total ask is $44,000 for one year of work. And now let's look at some community updates. A contest for $100 in prizes was held on Twitter with lots of cool Decred art and memes being created. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at ExodusDCR for more future contests. Tivra also held a giveaway seeking the best Decred elevator pitch. Phoenix Green had a number of exciting videos on the DCR decks. Bar swaps. For this option, we need to remember that atomic swaps have two parts to the settlement process. The initial swap and the redemption. The fast swap option deals with the initial swap, in this case buying DCR which requires LTC fees. The default amount of LTC is one Latoshi per virtual byte, or the smallest unit. In times of congestion, you might need to increase the amount to two Latoshis per byte. Recently on the Litecoin blockchain, I had a transaction that got stuck for over two hours. By moving this fee up on a consecutive trade, the transaction completed with no delays. Fast redemption. The same issue is true for the redemption part of the atomic swap. Raising the fee is useful during times of congestion. In this case, there is no need to raise the rate because the DCR blockchain is not congested, but we'll need to look at this in the next trade when we buy some Litecoin. With fast swap activated, we'll settle the order. On the Litecoin chain, this increase in fees is still only a fraction of a penny. With the release of DCR DEX version 0.6, 
the exchange removed the last remaining fee associated with using the platform. This was the registration fee of 0.1 DCR that was needed to connect to the server and ensure good behavior. This has been replaced with a fidelity bond which is no longer a fee, but a returnable amount to ensure all users follow the exchange rules. The bond has to be locked continuously. If the user decides to stop using the platform, they can unlock their bond, which takes approximately 60 days to fully unlock. Fidelity bonds are a prerequisite to the mesh server, which is the next stage of DCR DEX's evolution. The mesh server will enable anyone to run a DEX server and the trading pairs of their choice whilst being connected to a global order book. Let's have a look how the Fidelity Bond system works and how to cancel the bond when required. On setup, the Fidelity Bond can be paid in the server's preferred asset, currently either DCR or BTC, but eventually the goal is to allow the bond to be paid in any available coin. To use DCR DEX, you need to lock up two bonds. Each bond is locked for approximately 30 days. During the unlocking part of the process, the second bond starts the locking phase so that you don't lose access to the platform. In Decred terms, each bond costs 2 DCR, which is approximately $30. A total of 4.1 DCR will cover these bonds plus the mining fees. The bond takes two on-chain confirmations to lock and become available and is then active for approximately 30 days. Once you submit your bond and the two confirmations complete, your tier goes from tier 0 to tier 1. Tier 0 means you are unable to use the platform and tier 1 means you have full access and you can begin trading. Bonds continuously lock and unlock automatically. No further input is needed from the user after initial setup. On the Decred livestream, we had a multi-community collaboration. Like, what do you guys think is the best way to promote the Decred DEX? Uh, I made a post on the Litecoin subreddit, subreddit the other day, and it got over 100 upvotes. I got at like 10,000 views just saying, hey, you can trade Litecoin between Litecoin and Bitcoin, peer-to-peer, -peer, no KYC, no trading fees. And a lot of people seem to like it. but. And of course, the DCR DEX has a native Litecoin wallet, so it's really easy. You press a button, you have a Litecoin wallet, Litecoin node all built in. So the Litecoin pair is super easy right now. I think, I believe that native Zcash and possibly native uh, Digibyte are coming, which is going to make it much easier. But what do you think is the best way to promote this technology? Because as of right now, the Decred Bitcoin pair has the most liquidity, followed by, I believe, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin. Uh, but we really need more liquidity on the DCR DEX, which is basically going to come through marketing and just getting people on it. Well, can I, because uh, we talked about uh, Decred DEX at some point in time, one of our spaces, and I was trying to just navigate it. And I, I, I'm not, I don't know, I've been around for six or seven years, but I don't know, something wasn't clicking with me. I wasn't, I didn't feel comfortable that I didn't know where. I didn't know how to operate it basically. Right. And I didn't want to okay. put too much money into it. So I've always, I've always wanted to do something like this to actually demo it live and have me walk through as a, a noob and ask the dumb questions, because I think it's really, some of these things can get pretty intimidating. If I've never used Decred before, maybe I don't understand their ad, how your system works as far as addresses. I know some coins have different, like, protocols and how you actually transmit money yeah i want to say i had to create a, a decred wallet i had to write down a ton of words right you guys had more than 24 or something like that so <laughs> i'm not mistaken yeah there, no, it's, I think, it's I think pretty it's big <laughs> and then you have to write down words for the decks itself but that's your seed which recovers all your funds so it's kind yep. of important but yeah i can see from a user experience someone just kind of wanting to test it out it can be a little you know painful so okay that's that's really good feedback Looking at network stats, current ticket price is 244 Decred, worth about 3,700 US dollars at the current exchange rate. 63.74% of the circulating supply is staked. The hash rate is 57 peta hashes, down 14% over the past 30 days, which is likely due to miners going offline as they know the algorithm shift is coming. The self-funded Decred treasury is worth 13 million US dollars. The current supply is 15,374,433 Decred, with a massive 62% of the supply mixed using Decred's stake shuffle coin mixing service, which is post-quantum resistant, meaning supercomputers cannot undo the mixes. And the exchange rate is $15.18. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.